Hi and welcome to All About Podcast. My name is Florante. In today's video, we're going to talk about Dropbox file syncing issues and how you can resolve them. If you're outsourcing the post-production editing of your podcast, the most frustrating part would definitely be waiting for an output and then it doesn't come. And if you ever had any issue with files not syncing on your editor's end, chances are they're probably on a Windows computer. So today we're going to make sure we resolve the sync problem and at the same time keep in mind what not to do again in the future so the sync will go on smoothly on both ends. All right. So to get started, first thing that you'll need to do is to log in to your Dropbox account. Now, viewing it from the files view doesn't really reveal much whether our files are in sync correctly or not. So what we'll do is we'll go to this link. It's dropbox.com forward slash bad underscore files underscore check. So what is this link for? Now, this link will help us check out which files and folders have sync issues. You will notice that this is really a very powerful tool and something that I would recommend for you to visit every now and then to make sure that you're not missing any important files. Now let's examine the results. There are two columns in the result that shows us the file affected on the left column and the reason why this file is not syncing. And from a quick look, I can say that those question marks, asterisk, and columns are the culprits. So why did this happen? Now, if you click on the link just above the list of results, you will find out why. So the main issue really is more on the difference of operating systems used. If you're going to read through this article, it's really more about that. And from the example that I have shown you, the client that I'm working with are using a Mac computer while I am on a Windows computer. And since there are certain restrictions in Windows that is not restricted in Mac, hence, the result is a conflict when those files reach my end. So how do we resolve and how do we prevent this from happening? If you're going to look at this article, there are certain descriptions, certain points that you need to consider, keep in mind. And I will not look into all of it, but I'll leave the link for you to check it out. That will be dropbox.com forward slash help forward slash 145 and there are a couple of things that you can check in there it's really very comprehensive but for those of you who just wanted to make sure that you have you know the basics of what not to do if you are naming your files I'll go ahead and run it through uh, first with those who are using Windows computers now, if you're a person who is using Windows and you would like to share files to another person, so if you're going to share with someone who is on a Mac, make sure that you don't begin the file name with a period. Because if you do so, it will not sync on that person's computer because Mac computers will recognize the file name as a system file and hide the files automatically. Now, it's really just one for those who are sharing to Mac uh, users. However, if you are on a Mac and you're sharing to someone who is using a Windows-based computer, now there are eight things that you need to avoid if you're going to share to someone who is on a Windows computer. Whether it's in the beginning or in the end or in the middle of the file name, this is still not going to work. So you have to avoid the less than, the greater than, uh, the colon, the double quote, the vertical or pipe, the question mark, the asterisk, and the a period or a space at the end of a file or folder name.
So those are the things that you need to keep in mind. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Again, my name is Florante. If you need any help with any podcast related project, I do setup, I do editing, I do transcription. Feel free to visit my website. That's www.allaboutpodcast.com. Thank you and you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.